Trudell and Brez work in the post game. Can't really sugarcoat it. Embarrassing loss for the Lakers. Losing huge leads. Not putting a Warriors team away when you had ample opportunities. And you can get away with that some nights, but it's going to come bite you many times in the NBA, and it did tonight, James. Yeah, it bit them tonight. Um, you know, they went against a team that, uh, you know, was absent, uh, you know, Clay Thompson, uh, a young team, a scrappy team. I was very impressed with uh, what Steve Kerr has done with this team. He got them motivated to play. Uh, but, yeah, the Lakers, uh, you know, when, when you have a chance to put it away and you don't, and I think what's happened over – uh, this span of wins, uh, they've, you know, uh, been used to playing a little bit slow and then turning it on, and they've taken care of business. But tonight, um, it just seemed like they were just flat. It seemed like they just couldn't respond to what Golden State was doing to them, not getting good shot opportunities, not connected defensively like they normally are. Um, and so, yeah, it was, a, it was a lackluster kind of a performance, particularly in the fourth quarter. What if I would have come to you before the uh, pregame show and said, hey, by the way, Allie, uh, Steph Curry's Stop. only going to go three for 12. <laughs> I would have stopped right there. <laughs> Steph Curry's going to only go three for 12 <laughs> from three. The Lakers will lead by 19 in the first quarter, but they're going to lose the game. You know, I think that's what's think so I'm crazy? kind of, yeah, And the bench will play great. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Uh, I think that's probably what's so mind-boggling because after starting out the way they did and – were able to manage that 19-point yeah. lead in the first, you would have thought things were going towards the Lakers' way for the night. But I think what you also learn is what we've continued to preach, it's what they know inside that locker room, is that they are the defending champs. And every mm -hmm. single night, you are going to get your opponent's best shot. And also with that mm -hmm. comes players who may outplay themselves. Yeah. I mean, Kelly Oubre is averaging 11 points this season. We're talking about how he, he can't even throw it into the ocean. And he has 23. 23. His season high. Pascal off the bench. Pascal. Yeah. Ties his season high with 19. I mean, guys are just playing out of their minds. <laughs> so Andrew Miller, our graphics producer, he's, he's a Bay Area guy. Bay Area guy. He's a huge Warrior fan. We told him to build a fourth quarter collapse uh, full screen, and he did. And I think he did it with a smile on, on his face. Because <laughs> uh, it was a collapse. Colossal collapse. Uh, the Warriors outscored the Lakers 34 to 21. Field goals were 14 of 23, 6 of 19. Lakers an embarrassing 1 for 9 from 3. But here's some other ones, James. They were up 9 with 5 minutes left in this game. They didn't yeah. score for over 4 minutes after that. They had 4 turnovers in the final few minutes. Warriors went on an 11-0 run. I, I mean, pick which one's the worst. I don't know. All, Lakers all, didn't deserve it. All, all of the above, Geeter. And, you know, it's something when you're used to winning – like I said, the Lakers' defense has been, you know, pretty good, and they're used to winning. And I think you have to beware of that internal clock that says, okay, we'll be able to turn it on. But what happens is Golden State has an internal clock, too, and they turned it on as well. They weren't going to be denied. And so they just couldn't turn it on. I think it, they turned it off somewhere when they had a 19-point lead and never was able to get back in the ball game. They couldn't just turn the switch on and get the defense going, layups, uh, you know, the bench players for Golden State out hustled. There's things that we normally don't see we saw uh, in the fourth quarter in particular. Yeah, I mean, this is a Warriors team, you know, minus Clay, as we mentioned. Draymond's getting back. Steph's getting back. It's a young team. They outscored the Lakers 67-49. Here's the thing, Allie. The Lakers are not going to be perfect. Right. I know we want them to be every single night, but the Warriors played harder tonight. 67-49 in the second half. You know, Bottom coming line. in, Steve Kerr made the point that they're just not in sync right now offensively. I think they turned the corner mm -hmm. of it tonight because I yeah. think at the end of the day, you mentioned how different the Warriors are to what mm -hmm. we're so accustomed to seeing. But their system, their style of play, and who they are going to be and want to be about – because you still have that guy, that dominant force in Steph Curry yep. running the show, they're still going to pass the ball. They're going to move that basketball offensively, and they're going to get after it on the defensive end of the floor. And when you put that all together and you continue to stick with that, good things will happen. And tonight, that's what happened for the Warriors. Yeah, and, and, and Frank said it. He said it early in this game when, when he said it to the team and, and when he was interviewed. Like, you can't let this team hang around because of that guy. And sure, Steph was 2 for 11 at, at the time, but he hits the big three uh, with a minute left to put them up five. Uh, Kelly Oubre, they had an interesting conversation about him. Reggie was saying, listen, he, you know, social media, fans around the NBA, he was supposed to be that guy to kind of fill the role when 
Clay uh, tore his Achilles, and, and he has really had an up-and-down rough season. Well, tonight he came to play. Uh, 23 points, 9 of 18, James. Well, you know, they didn't, they didn't take.